Greetings mod lovers across the universe, DW here along with no one else because this is Mod Explaining. In the last video I ended up explaining about variables in Lua. In this video I'm going to be explaining about loops along with some new code and some new programs. Now you're probably wondering, but DW you've already explained about loops. True, but one, I haven't explained them in Lua and two, um, the new guy I'm actually watching in order to find out information in Computercraft has ended up explaining about loops in a new and cool little way that I ended up finding quite helpful and quite useful. So in this video, I'm going to try and explain it the way he explained it. So hopefully you, the viewer, should find it useful as well and maybe you can understand loops a bit uh, more than before. Now one last thing, you also may have noticed that there are no computers around here for me to use. That's mainly because I'm actually going to be using the mining turtle because the code I actually have to show you today mainly just involves around turtles. Also, the main reason I'm going to mainly just using the mining turtles because one, uh, it's the turtle I usually use, and two, if you're new to this series, uh, the rest of these turtles are just here for display. I'm not actually going to be using them. The rest of them are literally just here so you can check what they look like, check what they uh, they uh, seem like, and all of that. But I think I've explained enough about that, so without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first things first, I'm actually going to go into Lua. Also, make sure to put some fuel in your turtle before you begin, because if you don't, then you'll end up starting it and end up thinking, hmm, why isn't this working, and then you won't realize you actually have any uh, fuel in there. So make sure to put fuel in there before starting any big programs. Now the first thing I'm actually going to type in is turtle dot uh, forward. Uh, you'll understand in a second. But instead of actually just uh, typing out so the turtle can move forward, I'm actually going to type it out again to prove a point here. You'll understand in a second. Now, um, some of you may not think this will actually work, but if I actually type this out, okay. You can see here it ended up moving two steps forward. This is basically to show that you can end up having more than just one bit of code on one line. So basically if you want to end up keep on going forward with a turtle but you don't want to just keep typing it out then go forward, typing it out then go forward and it only goes one step, you can end up putting multiple bits of turtle.forward in here just keep typing it out. I know that isn't the easiest but it's better than nothing. Also, um, exit... Uh, this is also going to show you something. I'm going to quickly go into a program. I'm just going to call this anything. I'll call it um, we. Now, um, this is just an example. Imagine there's some code called we and there's a there's some code called for. Well, well there is, but... You can see how there's loads of different types of lines in a um, program. Well, with this, you can end up putting it all on one line and it'll actually work. I've actually seen uh, the guy I've watched actually do this. So if you end up putting it all on one line, the code will actually work. So basically, if you're someone who wants to end up putting all their code on not just um, loads of different lines, you can end up just putting it on one line, then you can actually do that. Although I would not recommend doing that because one, it'll look messy, and two, it'll be hard to actually see it all because... Imagine you just end up typing out loads of different types of code and it literally just becomes a long line and it becomes a, it kind of comes hard to see it. Obviously, by the way, for those who are new to this uh, series, this is obviously not code. This is just me just typing out loads of buttons, just in case you uh, need to know that. But uh, yeah, I'm mainly just showing you this so you know. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm trying to tell you is... Uh, go back to Lua. There we go. Is that you can end up putting loads of code on one single line, either on the Lua thing, instead of just typing out um, turtle, and then type turtle again, turtle again. You can end up typing that multiple times, and two, if you're in a program and you don't want to put it all on separate lines, you can end up putting it all on one line. Although, why you would do that, I don't know. Okay, next up, I'm actually going to move on to the uh, while loop. You'll all remember this loop. And uh, there's a reason I'm doing this. You'll see in a second. Uh, turtle dot uh, turn right, and then put end. Now there's two reasons I've done this. One to show you that uh, loops can work in uh, Lua, and two, you'll see in a second. Now 
I've ended up activating the uh, while loop. So now, basically, this turtle keeps on turning right constantly. But um, if you remember anything about loops, they're never ending. So which is why you end up having to put uh, code in to tell it to stop at a certain point. But that's actually something I've not done it here. I've actually not told it to actually ever stop. So basically, this little turtle will keep turning round and round and round and never stop. And sadly, I can't do anything about that. I used to think. I've actually found a way to actually uh, stop programs that won't stop unless you tell them in a program, but you forget to put in the code for that. If you end up putting Control T, uh, also holding Control T, I meant to say, it'll end up stopping. Oops. Uh, I'm going to quickly do. Um, oops. Uh, I'm just going to type this out. Wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and again. Okay, now it's facing me. So yeah, basically, if you have a problem like that where you end up uh, creating a program that keeps going around and around and around and you forget to put in code to tell it to stop at a certain point, all you need to do is basically do Control T. Also, make sure to hold down Control T because if you don't hold it down, it won't work. The main reason I'm telling you this is because when I first found out about this, I literally just um, tapped them both and it didn't work. Then I tried to hold it down, then it worked. So I'm making sure you people don't make my uh, mistakes. Okay, next up, we're going to be doing equals equals. Now, um, if you're wondering what equals equals is, it's an operator that ends up either coming out as true or false. You'll see what I mean in a second. And if I do equals equals... Now, as you can see here, I've done three equals equals three. Now, notice this. It came out as true. You wonder why it came out as true? It's because both of these are exactly the same number. Free is free, and free is free. If uh, they were both not the same number, like uh, 2 equals equals 3, it'll come up as false. Wait for it. As you can see here. So basically, if uh, both numbers here are exactly the same, it'll come out as true. If both numbers here are not the same, it'll come out as false. Just to show you this, I'm actually going to be using words now instead of uh, numbers. I'm going to do t equals time. Now, if I end up typing out t, it should come out as time, like I did there. So now, let's put this to the test. So t equals equals time. It should come up as true, which it did because they are exactly the same. t equals times. What if we end up mixing it around though? So um, uh, time equals equals t, and once again true. It's only to a point where one of them's different. So if I'm doing t equals equals, hold on, rhyme, it'll come up as false because they are not exactly the same. See, they are not exactly the same. T equals uh, time, so they're both the same, but t does not equal rhyme, so they're not the same. Also, make sure to comment down below if you get my joke. Okay, next up, I'm going to be doing uh, tilde equals. So I'm going to be doing, uh, if you don't know what tilde is, it's this, and then equals. So basically, if I had to explain this anyway, equals equals and tilde equals are exactly the opposite. For example, now before, whenever I did two equals equals three, it came up as false because they were not exactly the same. These are not exactly the same. But, seeing that they're not exactly the same, they end up coming up as true. I told you this was the opposite. And just like before, hold on, I keep, forget, keep forgetting where the tilde is. So basically, if I end up doing the same number, it'll actually come up as false, because once again, tilde equals is the opposite of equals equals. It came up as false. Also, that is a mouthful. Mouthful. Uh, tilde equals is the opposite of equals equals. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Anyway, let's move on with that. Okay, next up, I'm actually going to be uh, moving on to the programs. Now, here we go. Now, first off, I'm actually going to do this. Go up 10. I'm hovering up into the sky. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. You'll see why I've done that in a second. Uh, hold on. Okay, next up, I'm going to end up creating a new program. And no, I'm not going to name it after myself. I'm not going to do... DW for once. I'm actually going to call it something uh, a bit more original. I'm going to call it Bridge 
Maker. Ah, I spelled bridge right. Right? Right? Yeah, I spelled bridge right, right, right. Okay. Alright. So, first thing I'm going to do is do turtle dot select. Then there. Then I'm going to do while uh, turtle dot get item count? Yeah, item. Item count. And then that goes into two. Uh, then we're going to do tilde equals. See, there's always a reason why I show you this kind of stuff. It always comes in handy later on. And then, and, and that's not just me saying and, turtle dot get fuel level. 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 And then, boop, boop. We need those at the end. Then, uh, tilde equals, where the hell are you? Uh, tilde equals, oh, zero again. And then we do. All right, turtle dot place. What the hell's wrong with <sighs> place? I'll get there someday. I'll get there someday. Okay, and then turtle dot forward. Uh, this is why I'm not a teacher. I don't. I. I can barely speak half the time. <laughs> okay. And, alright, finished. I believe that's all of it. Okay. Now, first off, I'm going to quickly do this. But I'm not actually going to end up activating it yet. First, I'm going to, wait, put some blocks in here. Now, if I end up typing this out... Okay. So, basically, if it wasn't obvious by the name, um, this program ends up making bridges for you. So, basically, if you're too lazy to... Uh, make a bridge in either creative mode or normal mode, I don't know. Uh, you can end up getting the turtle to do it for you. How many blocks are left? Okay, good. He's not... He's almost finished. Okay. Yep, and then he ends up stopping with that. So, as you can see, he's made a perfect little bridge right here. Such perfectness, yes. And he's ended up going all the way there. Also, you notice that he ended up uh, going into slot uh, 2. That's because we ended up telling him to if uh, we go back. See? Go to slot 2 right here. Ends up placing down. And he ends up... Yeah. Now, I'm actually going to quickly... Um... Okay. Go back. Uh, 32. There was 32 blocks. Why am I so bad at spelling? Why am I so bad at spelling? That, that silence you heard there was not me trying to contemplate what I did wrong. No, that was me trying to figure out what the hell's wrong with me. Do, 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 do. This takes a new... This takes a new biscuit in the world of Moonwalk, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to destroy this bridge right now because, um... You'll see... Because, uh, we no longer need it. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. It's like a little dot out here. Okay, continuing on. All right. Now, as cool as that was, that's not only the only uh, program we actually have. So don't hold um, hold on to your horses there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you another cool program, which is not as useful, but I do find it quite interesting. Now, I'm going to do edit numbers. This one's called numbers. And I'm going to do four... Uh, for num uh, equals do, 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 11, then do. Also, while I actually have the time to talk, uh, earlier on you may have noticed that the bridge maker ends up using a while loop. And if you haven't, I'm just mentioning this right now because to be honest, that will come in handy to know that later on. You'll, you'll see why at the end of the episode. Uh, print... Uh, num, do, 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 and then finally, end. All right. Okay. Now, if I end up typing out num, basically what this program does is ends up typing out loads of numbers. Now, if we end up going back to that program, you notice I ended up putting in 1 and ended up putting in 11. Well, as you can see here, 
That's how many ends up going up to. It starts at number one and ends at 11 because we told it to. So if you want a program that ends up typing out loads of numbers from either one to 11 or even lower or higher, then this is the program for you. Yeah, it did all the numbers perfectly and beautifully. So yeah, if you want a program that ends up typing out loads of numbers for you, although I'm still not sure why you'd uh, need to, but it's up to you, um, you can do that. Also, although I haven't found the use for it yet, I'd still say it's a pretty good program for the fact is it ends up using the most tiniest amount of code I've ever seen. If you've seen half the other code I've made in the past in a program, this code is actually very, very short. It's amazing. I love it. But uh, moving on. Okay. We're going to move on to even another... Hold on. Uh, program that we can make. Uh, counting item. There we go. But this one's called the counting items. You'll see why at the end of this. Uh, total and then equals zero... What else? Four lot slot. Sorry. Uh, equals one and sixteen. Where am I here? Do uh do, 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 do. total equals total. Oops. If I can type total and then add. Um, where am I here? Turtle dot get get item uh, count. Also, if this isn't obvious, those need to be capitals. I've explained this so many times in the past. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, you need to put slot in this one. There we go. And now. End, but that's not the end, my little friends. I'm just, I'm just coming up with loads of crappy rhymes now. It's sad. I'm not even sure those were rhymes. I'm not really paying attention as much because I'm trying to pay attention to this. Uh, total. I need to look back at the footage. Um, and then. Items. There we go. Okay, and now. Save. All right. Now, let me quickly get over here. And uh, you'll now see why I ha I think you've already figured out what most of this stuff does. I'm not going to tell you what the books are for because um, that's that's for my own thing. These are basically for building bridges. This is sort of just in case I run out of fuel. But uh, the, the wool you're not sure about. Well, you're about to be sure soon. If, as soon as I get all this got in. 11. There we go. Okay, so if I end up doing this, it comes up with this. I have 64 items. Basically, this program ends up counting how many uh, items are in the turtle itself. So I ended up putting uh, 64 items in there. And it ends up telling us how much items are in here. Now, without looking at that, you have no idea how many items are in there just by looking at this. Unless, of course, you're a big... um math whiz and then you just end up just adding all of these up but to be honest I don't think even the biggest nerds want to do add up all of this I think even they have something more better to do but anyway yeah this code I actually quite like out of the rest for the fact is it ends up adding up all of the items in the, the computer's inventory so basically if you're ever wondering hmm I wonder how many items are in here you can literally just run this and it works perfectly now, um, I'm going to quickly get rid of this, because uh, we no longer need it for one. And two, if I go back a bit. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Now, I'm actually going to move on to this program. Now, you're all probably wondering, but DW, you've already done this program. Have you lost your mind? Yes, but that's besides the point. Um, if I end up doing Edit Bridge Maker and then put a two at the end, it'll make a new program. So, basically, I'm going to create... A new one, and you'll see why it's new in a second. Oops, I'm re I'm uh, doing the wrong program there. I was thinking of something else. Select, uh, boop, 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 and then items. Now, there's a reason why I ended up uh, telling you uh, that the um, bridge maker ended up using a wild loop. If you did not notice that, it's because uh, I'll tell you in a second. Hold on. 
Did I do that right? Yes. I always need check. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm not messing up here. The reason why is because... Because unlike the other um, bridge maker, this one ends up using a for loop instead of a while loop. Now, you'll see why that's so important in a second. Hold on. Items... Do... And then... Where am I here? Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> uh, there we go. By the way, if you think I'm some kind of genius and you kind of... <laughs> kind of feel... Uh, not too smart at the moment, because I'm actually remembering to do all of this. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I right now have a piece of paper in front of me telling me all of this. So uh, I'm really in the same boat as you. The fact that I've just researched all of this is just the, the main thing that's um, kind of making me know what to do at the moment. Well, of course it is. Um, okay. So basically, if I end up running... Wait. Uh, this one. Okay, you'll see why I did that in a second. Um, so basically, if I end up running this... It ends up placing out loads of blocks. Now, unlike the uh, for loop, if you end up placing in more blocks, it won't actually use those blocks. Because before even starting, it ends up counting how many blocks is in its inventory. And then that's how many it's going to use. So I ended up putting in eight. So at the end of this... It should only have eight um, blocks in inventory. Wait for it. Wait for it. See, it only used the blocks it started with. Now, um, wait. Okay. Doing the moonwalk. Everyone loves the moonwalk. Do 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 moonwalk. Na 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 moonwalk. Moon 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 moonwalk. Everyone loves the moonwalk. <laughs> you can tell I'm kind of a nut nut. Anyway, um, okay. So basically, wait. So basically, uh, that's that. But the difference between both of these uh, codes is because, unlike the second one, the first one, if you end up running it, even while it's going, if you end up putting more blocks in it, it'll actually use those blocks. So before, when we used the for loop, it ended up not using the blocks we put in. But with the while loop, it should end up using those blocks. By the end of it, there should be no blocks in its inventory. Just wait. I hope he stops soon. I don't really... I'm not really much of a sailor, and I'm not really... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't really want to go out to sea. Okay, as you can see here, it ended up using... All the blocks in its inventory, even the ones I ended up uh, putting in it, its inventory when it wasn't looking. <laughs> it's like I was a thief, except I was doing it backwards. Instead of putting in money, instead of taking money, I was putting in money. <laughs> Don't think we've ever seen that before in life. Um, okay, I'm not really sure how many. I'm going to do 32, I think. Wait. Yeah, go back to. Okay. Okay, go back, go back. Keep going back. Keep moonwalking, little buddy. Keep doing the moonwalk. Well, I think there was even more. Whatever. Hey, where'd the pig go? There was a pig over here. Where'd that little piggy go? Uh, piggy. Piggy. Oh, there he is. Hey, piggy. Yeah, he's man knows business. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So now, actually, that's all the code I ended up uh, finding out from the new guy I'm actually watching in order to find out information on Computercraft. Now, you're probably thinking, DW, does that mean it's the end of the episode? No, 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 no. It's not the end of the episode. Um, because, like all the new episodes I've ended up uh, creating, I've ended up making my own little code. So, I'm going to end up showing you that. Now, unlike all the other ones, I'm actually going to call it after myself. DW. <laughs> Now, I'm actually going to do this. You might end up seeing uh, some similarities to this code. To another code, you might think. Fox equals... Uh, four slot equals... 
16 do and then total and equals total nope denied keep your eye on the prize DW keep your eye on the prize not on the keyboard because <laughs> apparently you can't type for crap uh, Okay, slot. Uh, where am I here? Oh, now I see. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, except with Fox. Uh, to be honest, the main reason... Again, you can end up calling these two things anything. Albeit these two things here. If you call those uh, differently to these, then that won't work. If You can call these two things anything. The main reason this is called uh, Total is because I'm technically copying the guy I've watched. And... Um, the reason I'm saying fox is because the first thing that popped into my head, I don't know. Uh, it's not even my favorite animal, but whatever. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what my favorite animal is. That's my little secret. <laughs> what the hell was that laugh? Oh, there's something wrong in my head. <laughs> Call a doctor. I think I have brain spasms. Anyway. Slot. Okay, um, and then put end, and now we're going to print. Uh, I'm betting all the people that, uh, what the hell? I'm reading a new, I'm reading an entirely different paper from the paper I'm supposed to be reading. Uh, total, then... Items, yes, and items, and I have uh, equals dot dot fox dot dot uh, boop, and then wait, I don't need a capital space. I thought I put a W in there, that would have been embarrassing, and then finally save. Now you're all probably thinking, hold on a second, this looks a lot similar to the um, other program that ended up involving around kite, kiting, counting items. Well, that's because it is. I ended up kind of copying that guy's, um, hold on, uh, kind of copying that guy's, there we go, um, program. But I like to think I've improved it because I've added, because obviously if you've seen, I've added in... A couple uh, new bits of uh, code which you should find a bit interesting. So uh, if we end up typing this out now. So now it ends up typing, I have uh, 64 items. But it also ends up typing out, and I have uh, 960 space. So as you can see, not only does this program end up telling you how many items you have it also tells you how much space you have and how many more items you can put in here so basically I've kind of improved this guy's code a bit by just adding in a few bits of uh, code here and there which um in a way you can end up doing as well with with uh, some of the codes I've shown you today if you really want to because to be honest ladies and gentlemen the main reason I end up making my own little codes at the end of these episodes is to kind of show you that uh, with a bit of creativity and with the stuff I'm teaching you, you can actually end up creating uh, cool little codes like this. You can end up uh, trying to surpass the master, so to speak. But um, that's all the code I actually have time for today, or actually all the code I actually have to show you today. So um, I hope you all enjoyed. Make subscribe, make sure to leave a like. If you want to support this channel, make sense to your friends, you catch your goldfish. Also, if you feel like um, the way I've explained this hasn't really helped, make sure to check out the guy I've been watching in order to find out this information. But um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!